of the air. It's PowerPoint 1.1. And you can hear me playing a song about the atom in the background. I'll make sure to give you the link for that. Today we're going to make sure we can cover these two objectives throughout this video. Alright, uh, I always like to put in book connections in video notes so that you know what to do. Your reading assignment is to read sections 4, 1, 4, 2, and 5, 1 from the book. Okay, this is the chapter, this is the section. So we're chapter 4 and chapter 5, sections 1 and 2 of chapter 4, and section 1 of chapter 5. Um, there's some power... Uh, pages I'll refer to specifically on some of the slides. But because it's our first one of the year, we really do have to talk about what chemistry is. So chemistry is the study of matter and the changes that take place in matter. And so um, all these things that you see here are matter and we'll be studying all year how it all fits together. Okay. So way back in the day in ancient Greece, there was a man named Democritus and he's actually given credit for first thinking of atoms as being these tiny particles that matter is made out of. Um, but he didn't really have any scientific evidence to support it. For instance, it might look like Chuck Norris was here, but do we have any scientific evidence to support that? Okay, so Democritus thought about it, but he was not able to prove anything. Um, two th about a thousand years later, um, Jan or John Dalton came along, and he was a scientist. He um, looked at some experiments, and he was able to interpret those. Okay, so please read page 102. You can pause this and start now. You can have it next to you, whatever you want to do. But there's a figure, 4.2. I want you to sketch that into your notes. It kind of looks like this, and there's four sections. But it helps you see visually what um, we, the model of what we think of, of elements and compounds. So Dalton's theory was big. He um, was able to deduce that matter is made of indestructible part indestructible particles called atoms, that atoms of the same element were identical, that compounds are formed by combining two or more different types of atoms, and that chemical reactions were rearrangements of those atoms. There's an asterisk here on purpose because when we talk about combination of compounds, um, Dalton was referring to a chemical combination as opposed to just putting two things together and mixing them, a chemical combination. Okay, so Dalton, based on this evidence, I mean, based on these postulates, was able to come up with a model. We sometimes refer to it as the billiard ball model. Um, so atoms are these solid spheres. Uh, it was good. He uh, was able to deduce that atoms exist from data. It was bad because what we know now about atoms was not all included. Um, there was no uh, information about these parts of an atom and where they were in an atom. And then if you look back at this, um, we know that you can, well, you can change atoms um, nuclearly, and um, so there are different kinds of atoms of the same element called isotopes. So there, these four main ideas um, gave us a basis for atomic theory, but there were some discrepancies that we know about now. Okay, so if you think of a model, think of a billiard ball model. If you think of what that was, it was that atoms were solid spheres. Okay, um, more scientists, more experiments, more data. So please read these pages now, 104 and 105, and answer this question. All right, um, going back to here, yeah, make sure you drew that into your notes. Okay, going back to here, um, J.J. Thompson used this instrument, okay, but he was able to discover the electron with it and that electrons were negative. This is big because instead of having the solid sphere for an atom, now we have this um, model where there were these tiny particles of negative charge. Okay. So this is the model of the atom based on the data given from this experiment. Okay, so um, make sure you look in in the book, in this section, to find out the name of this device. But what happened is this ray um, was made up of some kind of particles. And those particles went to the po towards the positive, away from the negative. So he was able to deduce that this was a negatively charged stream of particles. And using this tube, with this ray, he was able to do that. Okay, so because there was new evidence, you had to change the model of the atom. This is often referred to as the plum pudding model. Um, so this positive uh, dough 
with these negative electrons, which are the new particles discovered using that experiment that Thompson did. Um, so good, we still have atoms. Good, the atoms have electrons. Bad, because these, this atom had no protons no, uh, or no neutrons. And so um, this is the newer model of the atom based on the experiments that J.J. Thompson did. Okay, more experiments, more evidence. Um, please read these pages in um, your book and make sure that uh, you can answer this question. The name of this experiment. Okay, I'll give you a hint right there. Okay, so Ernest Rutherford uh, was able to discover that atoms have a nucleus using uh, this the evidence from this experiment. Also, not just having a nucleus, that nucleus was tiny, 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 had positive charge, and was um, really tightly packed together material. Okay, so because of the results of this experiment, hint, name of experiment, um, he was able to deduce that these atoms that matter was made out of had a tiny, positively charged, um, small nucleus. Okay, and then those electrons are still there because J.J. Thompson had discovered those. And so um, now we have all of these parts of an atom. The bad thing about it was none of the uh, experimental evidence could help decide where the electrons were. Okay, uh, Neil four. Okay, please read those pages and make sure you can answer this. All right, so put this information into your notes and um, make sure you know this about what's going on here. Now, um, let me go back to Rutherford. Because of Rutherford's evidence, we were able to create what we call the nuclear model of the atom. So the model is the picture we can draw or the um, that we can make based on evidence. So now the atom has a nucleus and then outside the nucleus were the electrons. So we call it the nuclear model because it was the first model of the atom to contain that positively charged nucleus. Niels Bohr did some experiments so that he was able to describe um, he was able to describe the um, things um, he was able to describe where those electrons were in atoms um, a little better because of uh, an experiment called um, he was looking at spectral lines spectral lines that was the experiment so based on his model, he knew the nucleus was in the center, but that the electrons were in energy levels. That was the new thing. And we'll see this experiment in class. But each atom had distinct lines. They weren't continuous, so there was no, um, so that those electrons in an atom had to be in specific energy levels. So here's what's good. We can describe where electrons are by calling them energy levels. Um, it was also good because we still have a nucleus. There's protons, neutrons, and electrons. But... The energy levels weren't exactly rings. Okay, so Bohr's model is called the planetary model. It still has the nucleus, it has electrons and energy levels, but it also had rings, and rings are wrong. I know that's spelled wrong, but it helps you remember. Okay, today please read this, these pages, to figure out the current model of the atom. Okay, but two scientists had a lot to do with our current model of the atom. I'll give you a hint. Right here are the initials for it. So make sure you know that. Put that in your notes. Look it up. Page 130, 131. Um, because of this, electrons are not in orbits. Okay, rings are wrong, remember. But they're in probability clouds. So areas of electron density around the nucleus where you're most likely to find an electron. Okay, in the energy levels. So we have protons, neutrons, and electrons. Electrons are um, charged negatively, and they're in probability clouds outside the nucleus. Oh, look at these clouds. That's fun. Okay. Um, so here's what we know about our current model of the atom. We know that there's protons in the nucleus. They have positive charge. Um, they have a mass of 1 amu. So if you compare the parts of an atom to each other, a, pro a proton has a mass of 1. And that's called an atomic mass unit, and it's relative to the other parts of an atom. A neutron also, neutrons are neutral, no charge. They also have atomic mass of one, and that's relative to the other parts of the atom. Protons help determine the identity of an element. So if you have the element hydrogen, you'll have one proton. If you have the element um, sodium, there are 11 protons. 
Okay, so protons give it identity. Neutrons are also in the nucleus with the protons. They also have a mass of 1 man AMU relative to each other. They weigh about the same. And neutrons help to determine the mass and stability of atoms. Um, electrons are in probability clouds outside the nucleus. They have negative charge, negligible mass, because they're 1 2,000th of uh, the mass of protons and neutrons. So they're tiny. It takes 2,000 electrons to weigh about the same as a proton or neutron. They help determine the charge of an atom. If it's neutral, it has equal protons and electrons. If it's an ion that's positive, electrons have gone away. If it's an ion that's negative, electrons have been gained. And we'll learn about that. But electrons have small a mass compared to protons and neutrons. Okay, let's review. Scientists create models based on data. So that's how the his so you need to know the history of the atomic models and how they're developed. Know the experiments that led to our new models of the atom. No, make sure you know what the number of protons tells you about an atom. Rings are wrong because it's probability clouds. Oh, and don't forget to memorize the first 20 elements and symbols. All right, I'll play the atom song as I go out. I'll make sure to give you the link. Make sure you've read and taken notes on those pages in the book. And see if you can do those two things. Not just basic level, but sometimes some in depth. All right. It's been fun. Peace out. See you soon.